Yo, what is up guys? It's the Goblin and welcome back to another Call of Duty video. Now this video is going to be a little bit different. In this video, we're not going to be talking about Black Ops 4 like I usually do because of course that is the newest Call of Duty and the one that everyone, including myself, or the majority of Call of Duty fans are on and playing right now. Today we're going to look towards the future and I'm going to talk about what I think is going to be happening and why I think we really need this next Call of Duty because the Call of Duty life cycle, and I'm going to explain a lot of it, why I think this next Call of Duty really needs to be Modern Warfare 4 or something very similar to that along the lines of the Modern Warfare series by Infinity War or else Call of Duty might be in a little bit of trouble and the thing with Call of Duty is uh, that, that I've always hated is it seems like they always take a step forward and then a step backward or two step forward one step backwards because they are going forward you know ultimately but you know a lot of games like you know making theater mode and then not including theater mode in other games or having combat record and then it's worse in other games it's always like that and I really think that we're going to talk a bit about how I can see the, the, the trajectory of Call of Duty going and why I think the next year's COD, which will be announced probably in a couple months now, so this is prime time to talk about it, should be Modern Warfare 4 and why I hope it is something to do with Modern Warfare 4. Now, there is some evidence to back this up, but mainly just leaks and teasers and just things you have to infer from. For example, the CEO saying that they have the best three-year life cycle coming up in this franchise, which of course would be starting with Black Ops 4, means their next one has has to be a banger which could possibly be modern warfare 4 also the fact that they have multiple game universes they love to tap in on could allude to the modern warfare and the black ops series he could be talking about something else there and then there was also this which is allegedly this post is an infinity ward uh, a person that is official at infinity ward replying to a post about uh, modern warfare 4 i'm not sure how legitimate this is or if this means anything of course they love to do little teasers like this and get the hype up but of course there's more signs pointing towards modern Warfare 4. And I'm going to talk about all that in this video. Drop a like on this video, guys. I'd really, really appreciate it. This is going to be, you know, a late night video, just me talking, getting my feelings out, and I'm talking about something that I'm passionate about, which the two best series in Call of Duty. I mean, it's pretty much undoubtable. I don't see too many people arguing this. It's Black Ops from one to four, and then uh, from that's from Treyarch, and then on Infinity Ward, it's uh, it's called uh, Modern Warfare from one to three, right? So we'll talk about, anyway, drop a like guys, drop a like, it's a late night video. We're gonna be, you know, talking about my, how I feel about this. Uh, subscribe if you guys are new, I'd really appreciate that. Thank you guys for all the support, everyone dropping likes and let's get into it. Okay, so first of all, Black Ops 4. If Black Ops and Treyarch have done basically since Black Ops 1, which was 2010, the same game of, I think, was it 2010 or 2009? It might have been, I think it was 2010 because Modern Warfare 2 was 2009. Yeah, and then Modern Warfare 3 is 2011. So since 2010, they've gone and stuck to the same sort of series. And if we look at it, Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 were huge, huge successes. That was when Call of Duty was based off of mainly making their money simply off of the sales. The sales of the, uh, original buying the game $60, right? The USD. And then of course buying the map packs and DLC or, or what would be considered the Black Ops pass now was basically your DLC pass back then. And then Black Ops 3, they sort of built off of supply drops, which was, I don't know who officially came up with supply drops, but with Activision uh, and that was implemented in Advanced Warfare, which was a sledgehammer game. I'm trying to make sure I get all my facts right here. I'm spitting this off the top of my dome freestyle. Um, so basically that was um, where supply drops were invented right and then black ops 3 i think i honestly think black ops 3 has to be the most the, the game that's made them the most money not off of the sales although it sold great it didn't outsell some of the older cods but you got to combine the sales with the dlc system and the supply drop system that they had in that game and the popularity of that game i would be very shocked if any other call of duty i mean maybe black ops 4 might surpass it but as of right now i think black ops 3 if we're totaling in everything would be their highest earning game just because of that and then of course they followed it up with Black Ops 4 and so far we're two months in it looks like it's a huge success sold big numbers they're have they're going to be selling cosmetics and stuff in the game they uh, branched out with Blackout and took sort of a step back for campaign fans which, which sucks but they sort of changed up their business approach there and went for something that's a little more trendy with the Battle Royale and of course going with the Blackout so that's what we have as far as uh, Treyarch and why Black Ops made Black Ops 4 because it's a sure success using that name over and 
and over and over gives, you know, people want to check out Black Ops 4 if they liked any of the previous three Black Ops. Now, if we look at what Infinity Ward did, Modern Warfare 1, 2, and 3 were huge successes. You know, they're more controversial because a lot of people didn't like, their, there's more BS in those games. Um, but personally, I love, like, Modern Warfare 3 is probably my favorite COD ever uh, just because that was the one where I really, like, got into the YouTube scene. I was just loving everything about it. Uh, I was playing that game, like, nonstop, going for triple moabs, double moabs, double moab, triple moab, stuff like that. Um, but basically, the Infinity Ward, they went and made COD Ghost, which wasn't a huge success. And then once again, they had another another shot and they went with Infinite Warfare because that was when Call of Duty did that. I guess some people would call it a mistake, but doing the, the advanced cycle, which was the advanced warfare, Black Ops 3 Infinite Warfare, which is three years of advanced movement because, of course, these games are made in advance. So now that I've, I know I'm sort of talking about history, that's where Infinity Ward went wrong. And Infinity Ward, which used to be, it used to be Infinity Ward and Treyarch and Activision and that was basically it those two were very very close then they add in Sledgehammer Games which has dropped AW and World War 2 so people are questionable about Sledgehammer Games and if, if the, the cycle is continuing which we assume it is which the life cycle goes um, Treyarch's Call of Duty uh, Black Ops 3 and then it goes Sledge and then it goes Infinity Ward Infinite Warfare then it goes Sledgehammer World War 2 and then it goes back to Treyarch it's a rotating cycle right so back to Treyarch right now Black Ops 4 if it continues on the cycle which it has for the last whatever six or seven years next call of duty should be infinity war and what can they do can they do call of duty ghost 2 probably not that's probably not going to sell as much or make as much money and i enjoyed ghost but i'm just i'm not talking about a personal opinion i'm talking about how well the game how it was received by like overall so they can't really do that Infinite Warfare 2, that would be a huge mistake, especially since they've gone back to boots on the ground with Black Ops 4 and people are enjoying that. I think the problem, and they kind of got screwed over in Infinity War because Infinite Warfare was a kind of a cool idea and a cool game, but by when the time they were at the time they were developing it, but by the time it was announced, people had gotten tired of like the Black Ops 3 and the AW that advanced jumping around and wanted boots on the ground, and of course they got really mad when that game was announced and they were kind of screwed because they had already designed it. So, if we're going into next year and Treyarch sees how well, or, or uh, Activision sees how well Black Ops 4 has been doing, and even if, you know, of course, they started developing before, they should have, they would know that Black Ops 4 was in development before, and I really think it's not too late to go back to Modern Warfare 4. The modern time is, Call of Duty is known for, like, doing, you know, past times over and over again, but Modern Warfare is something that is really, really good, and it gives them sort of freedom to do sort of what they want, much like with the Black Ops series, when they go in the future, just 5 or 10 or 20 years, allows them to customize it, and I really think that Black Ops 4, this game is already a huge success, as long as they continue the updates and the DLC and everything and make it good, this game is going to be at least a big success. Who knows if it's going to be huge, 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 or just big, but it's already a big success. So going into next year, it's sort of a do or die moment for Call of Duty, because Call of Duty has these cycles where you know, back in the day when we had, uh, you know, BO1, uh, Modern Warfare 3, BO2. Like, that was a huge pop in life cycle for those three years. Then when it went into, you know, di different cycles include that included, like, COD Ghost, and that included Infinite Warfare, World War II. It was a little bit more of a downtime. But Black Ops 4 and just the... the Fortnite and everything in the esports and gaming is blowing up right now and this is so many eyes are on Call of Duty right now I think that next year they need to come with a Modern Warfare 4 and Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. Why not come with that? I know they can do it, and I, I just, I really hope next year's Call of Duty, it is, is announced that it's by Infinity Ward, and when it, that it is by Infinity Ward, it's going to be Modern Warfare 4. Now, I know a lot of the developers have, the original developers have left the studio. Maybe they could combine with Raven or something to work on this. I just really do enjoy that series, and I think that this is a game that has built two huge franchises, Treyarch with Black Ops, and Infinity Ward with Modern Warfare. Why not keep those going as long as people People are enjoying them now thing with black ops 4 some people hated that they brought back so much stuff i mean they brought back only a couple maps i guess they were, they were pretty good maps in my opinion so modern warfare 4 could really just copy paste the style that uh, black ops 4 sort of did because they have their signature maps too like like um you know treyarch has what what do they have nuketown they have uh slums you know they have summit they have firing range uh, over on Infinity Ward, they have Terminal, they have Rust, 
they have a uh, scrapyard, they have uh, a shipment, they have a bunch of maps that high rise that are just super duper, um, you know, dope. And I would love to see Modern Warfare 4 as this next year's uh, game. I really think if they announce something, and it doesn't have to be Modern Warfare 4 exactly, maybe it could be Modern Warfare, the 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 fourth installment, or Modern Warfare, the 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 final episode, you know, something something cool like that. As long as it's based around an, a, a, the modern times, I think that we w we are looking good. But if Infinity Ward goes rogue again and maybe make something that is not as popping, uh, an example of COD Ghost or another Infinite Warfare, I really think that that would suck because then we'd be in downtime again and, and call of duty you know it's sort of about what have you done for me lately with the fan base and right now we're on a super high with black ops 4 but if it's modern warfare 4 that that high is going to keep going if it's announced it's something different i just know people are going to hate on it right away i will too because everyone wants this thing to be modern warfare 4 because it just makes sense if black ops the series is still working in the fourth installment why wouldn't modern warfare people love that series and it, it would work the exact same same way as long as it's done right you can't just you know do it bad but as long as it's done right it would work hopefully you guys did enjoy this video if you guys could smash the like on this thing i would very very much appreciate it that's just my thoughts i really think that if next year's game isn't modern warfare and it's something that's not as popular and then we go into sledgehammer cycle next we it would be kind of scary you know going into sledgehammer cycle however if we came off black ops 4 and modern warfare 4 so much momentum would be going forward that i'm sure activision would do the right thing and make sure that you know, they, they stay on this high level. So far, Black Ops 4, I'm loving the game. And I really think that, you know, they, they have a formula that, that's that's working. And I would love to see Modern Warfare 4 or some sort of Modern Warfare game come out next year from Infinity Ward and uh, Activision. Thanks for watching, guys. Drop a like. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section down below. Uh, I know a lot of people, you know, prefer Black Ops series over Modern Warfare. Some people prefer Modern Warfare over Black Ops, but I think we can all agree that we would like to have both of these at our disposal and playing both of these would be good. And then maybe it wouldn't be, you know, I can see that if the next game isn't good or the next two games aren't good, I can already see people playing Black Ops 4 for the next couple of years like a lot of people did with Black Ops 3. And I don't want that to happen. I like Call of Duty when there's a new good game every single year that everyone can enjoy. And that's what I want to happen. So th that's my sort of argument why I think it should be Modern Warfare 4. Why I think it will be. And why I think it would be a success for everyone. As long as it's done right. The fans... Um, the uh, developers, of course, and the people making the money over at Activision because this is going to bring people to the game off Modern Warfare, and then, of course, they're going to do their DLC thing and sell that and, and whatever, do whatever they want with that. So, thanks for watching, guys. Drop a like, and Modern Warfare 2 Remastered also, I think, could be a possibility, but as long as there's just something, something nice that gets the hype up, I'm cool with it. Drop a like, guys, if you guys could. Subscribe if you guys are new. Uh, let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you guys want to see uh, next year as the game. I know it's kind of early to talk about this, but it will get announced in, like, three or four months, so... Why not start, you know, start the, 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 the talks and get the idea out there and get my opinion out there because it seems like a lot of the time things that I say sort of come true. Um, I don't know if this will be Modern Warfare 4 or if it'll be a completely random game. This is just my thoughts and opinions. So, you know, I don't have any insider knowledge or anything. Thanks for watching, guys. Drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. And I'm out. Peace.